My friend took this picture on the day I told my husband about getting tired of our boring life. We argued so much that we've been separated since then. Whatever I did, our picnics always ended with my mother in a grumpy mood. That's why I usually made plans with my father instead. <laughs> Everyone at high school was so jealous when they saw this photo. You had to have been very lucky to get to see the famous elephant. Going together with the most popular girl in school didn't help either. Dear Moriko, why did you do that? You were so pretty and smart. <sighs> My eyelids are getting heavy. I hope he lets me sleep tonight. I miss sleeping. Do you see that white thing to the right of the open pit? That thing that looks like a dinosaur fossil. When I was a kid, my dad used to bring me here for some fresh air. The first time we were here, he showed me the white patch of sand and said it used to be a baby dinosaur running from the humans. But it must have been dark, so the baby dinosaur falls into the pit and starves to death. The story made me more scared of the humans on the other side of the pit than of dinosaurs. Maybe that was my dad's intent. He used to say that in those mills and houses on the other side of the pit live humans who turn into animals at night and come and steal things from us. I wish it were those stories that I couldn't remember. Although people on the other side of the pit had left years ago, I never found out who actually lived there. I wish you were here, Dad. We could go to the other side and have a closer look. Hey, hey! Looks like you're falling asleep. Open your eyes. This is only the 17th day of no sleeping. Could you turn your face away? Those terrifying red eyes. Why don't you leave me alone? How long are you going to torture me? I want to leave you alone, but I can't. Since long ago, when I was a young captain, I couldn't be awake while sailors were asleep. Come on, get up, get out of bed. Don't you have a few days off from work? Go play a little at least. feel safer with the map. Hi, Miso. Nice to see you come and not make a noise. Don't worry. Erica will return in a few days and we'll take you back home. Sorry I couldn't spend enough time with you. Come to me, my dear kidney stone. Why did Jack close up this place for good? What's even more odd is that none of us ever tried to find out why. What's under the rug? I'm surprised the elephant even thought of signing his photograph. disappeared to? What? None of my business. What do you mean you'll come back in a while? 
You didn't think I'd find you, huh? Well, I found your phone number on one of your spaghetti boxes. You'd written it down on the corner and thrown it in the trash. Ever since the elephant vanished, so did you. Are you in some sort of trouble? What? You don't know what I'm talking about. Frankly, I don't trust you anymore. Who trusts a man who prefers his tasteless spaghetti to my pancakes? Don't hang up. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Damn it. Hi, little girl. What's your name? I don't think I've ever seen you around here. <clears throat> Kardash has to make up a new system every time to identify who knocks at his door. If you're new, you may try and read this to get the news. Little would you know, this newspaper has been here for weeks. Hey, Jack. Oh, I'm sure he's going to make a remark about my name. Welcome back. Any news from your name? Or is it still playing hide and seek? What did I just tell you? Looks like it's now right where it belongs. But I have to remind you, it is a secret. I don't want the neighbors to hear about it. Sure, sure. No secret leaves this house. Especially one about the quietest resident we've ever had here. Well, I guess that's true. For the last six months, I'm the only person who's entered my flat. Oh, I had no idea he was so successful. He has a gig at such a popular venue. This art connoisseur identifier system invites you to come in. Did you know the stuff you've installed at your door is hard to figure out? That's why I have a special welcoming message taped. Well, anything I can do for you? Nothing especially. I just want to see what you look like now since I last saw you. Safe to say you're still deep into your electronics. You did all that work just to see my face. Don't you want to see one of my greatest inventions? What is it? It looks pretty finished. All the screws are in. Yes, it's nearly done. I just need to add four frequencies to bring this metal creature to life. And then what will it do? I've named it the Nature DGMF Machine. It can receive a series of frequencies and code them and... Ah, forget it. It's of no use to you. It has no use for me. I just want to make it and put it in the corner. Well, I have no idea what it does, but I'll take it off your hands. It won't be done until I find the four frequencies. I'm tired of staring at the design sheet. One thing for sure is that he hasn't found those four frequencies that don't have a check mark. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. I just remembered as I saw the closed doors of the movie theater. What is it? I hope you're not adding something new to my responsibilities. Why did you stop the weekly film screenings there? Because we couldn't get the money to buy a new player. Also, the neighbors aren't very sociable. It's hard to get them all together at the same time. I remember you had a collection of the best 35mm films. Let's set it up again. I love old technology. A friend of mine borrowed them and never gave them back. It ruined our friendship. Why don't you go to his house and ask for your films? Ah, I'm over it now. No time for old films. But if you want them so much, why don't you go yourself? Take this road straight up until you get to the square. His house is one of the first houses. It's got a blue door and there's a large sign hanging on its wall. If my name is scared of dogs like I am, it wouldn't have escaped that way. 